I'm trying this again for the second time because uh, my first recording kind of screwed up um, all like 30 seconds of it, so fear not. This, this, should, this should still be mostly blind um, because I got up to like this part and then realized that something something was amiss, so had to fix that real quick, but welcome back to everyone's favorite Mario stuff. I don't know why that Dry Bones jumped off the ledge and the other Dry Bones didn't, but... I guess uh, one of the dry bones was feeling a little bit more uh, aggressive and really wanted to go after me, and the other one just really didn't care. So, back to everyone's favorite Mario stuff, um, but not really because a lot of people somehow do hate the Mario stuff. It's really, it's really weird. You, you would, you would never think so, but you know, can I go on this? Oh, good. Hopefully, there's not another looping tube system. I've never really seen that. Like this guy likes to put a lot of tubes in the game that just kind of like lead back like usually I, I wouldn't be surprised what okay Hold. hmm uh, I, I get the feeling that this should not really be happening like this this should probably be a wall and okay we're just we're not gonna uh, is there a secret over here secret death I guess if, if you wanted to to categorize it as something that would be secret death but uh, yeah a lot of people a lot of people don't like Mario stuff I know it's shocking right Mario stuff, I, at least it used to be, I don't know if it is so much anymore, but it used to be kind of a central hub for people to complain about what game I wasn't playing at any given time. Because people, a lot of people just like to watch the channel for, you know, whatever newer games I decide to do. And uh, because Super Mario World is roughly 20 some odd years old by now, a lot of people used to go to the videos and, and just kind of complain like why are you playing this old Mario game it's stupid you should play you know whatever one of the new games you're playing is so I'm sure that happens occasionally but I might have died down a little bit but it oh hey we, we have a boss hold on probably gonna have to concentrate for this probably gonna have to concentrate is it boo again it probably is boo we've done we've done nothing but fight boo this entire time so you know Ugh. yeah we've, we've done nothing but fight boo like this whole time and I'm probably gonna have to take a hit here to get out of this. No! Look at that master skill. Mastery of the game. I couldn't even see that block and I jumped on it. Man, I think just about everything went right in that boss fight. I would I would have to say just about everything went right in that boss fight. But uh, it kind of leads me to one of my first topics of uh, discussion here. And this is a topic you know I've talked about, I'm sure, in the past plenty of times, but... This is Mario, and I do tend to to ramble and rant in Mario videos. Ice World 6-1, by the way. It's going to be slippy and slidey. I have no idea what this music is either. I was hoping for, like, some music I recognize, but... Like, oh, hey, there's a Santa hat on. Attention to detail. I all have Santa hats on. I, like, this is something that comes up all the time. I, I don't understand. Okay, so you have, you have a video that's, you know, titled properly... And it has an appropriate thumbnail. Like, let's let's take my Mario stuff, for instance. It's titled probably something like, you know, I, I just kind of copy and paste at this point. But it's like Super Mario World Hacks with SSOH or some dumb bullcrap. Whatever stupid title I decided to, to name it. And the thumbnail is supposed to be me in, like, a Mario outfit sort of thing. I'm just going to take the hit because I'm impatient. So you have that. And then, you know, you have, like, a Mario background for, for the thumbnail. But people still click on the video to complain that it's a Mario video. Like, I, I never really understood that. How, how someone can openly know, like, what the video is and be like, Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to click on that and complain about it anyway. I don't know what that Yoshi's doing, but... It was always really weird to me because I'm subbed to quite a few people. And, you know, on occasion, I do watch a YouTube video here and there. And if they upload something I don't want to see, it's like... Okay, I'm just, I'm just not going to... Oh, God, this is going to hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. Thank God. Alright, I should be able to fly now. Oh, he took the flying thing out, that's right. Oh, shit. Gotta play pinball here. Like, I just, I don't know, like, is it really so hard to ask for people to be like, Oh yeah, I don't like this video. I'm, I'm just not gonna watch it. Like, I'm sure a lot of people do that, but... I don't know, it's just, it's weird to me. It kind of brings me to the, uh... To another point of one of, of one of the videos that I'd uploaded recently. I had talked about this before. I know I definitely talked about this recently. Like, I was just gonna... I was just gonna play a game and, and not have any commentary over it and try and make it like... I was gonna make the, the videos probably about 30 minutes long or so and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make them like super duper long. And I uploaded a game just in one video. 
and uh, it was like some really random James Bond game that I probably would have never played on the channel anyway. Um, and it was labeled like no commentary. It didn't really have a thumbnail because I didn't really want to get a thumbnail drawn up for it. It was just kind of like a one-off thing. And I guess, I guess the video did better and worse than I expected. To be honest, like it got something like 2,000 likes, which I honestly did not expect it to have that many. I thought it was gonna have well under a thousand, but it somehow got over 2,000 likes. And I'm running out of time. Is that is that the end right there? What is that? There's like a random star thing here. Hold on. Okay, it was the end. So it did it did better than I expected in that regard, but at the same time, it also had 150 dislikes, which I don't I don't know how that sounds to you guys, but. Like, to me, that's really bad for a video that only only got 2,000 likes. I kind of expected there to be some, uh, some resilience, some resistance when I uploaded that video, but, like, a lot of people really didn't like that for, you know, I mean, it's not, like, a hard-to-figure-out reason, but, like, it was labeled properly. It, it had no commentary in all caps, like, hey, this video doesn't have commentary. If you don't like that, you probably shouldn't watch it, but I guess a lot of people clicked it anyway just to dislike the video, it's like, I don't, I, I can never understand why someone would want to do that, like, it's, it's a waste of time, well, in my opinion, it would be a waste of time, like I said, if, if I'm subscribed to someone and they upload something that I, I know that I'm probably not gonna like, I don't click the video and dislike it and complain about it, it's like, there's obviously going to be a market for, you know, an audience for that type of thing, like, I'm sure there were probably some people that, that watched the entire video or some of it and was like, yeah, this is kind of neat, but it's not really that entertaining. There's no commentary in it. I mean, recently I've taken kind of a liking to watching um, speedruns or just in general playthroughs with no commentary because sometimes I just want to see how a game is without a person talking over it, if that makes sense. Can I make this? Yes, I can. Oh, Yoshi's dead. Acceptable losses. My Fire Flower's dead. Acceptable losses, once again. We're all good here. So I guess it's not really a surprise, but in, in general... Oh god, there's like a jumping glitch sound again. There goes that. Awesome. I love losing all my power-ups because I'm impatient. But usually, I've talked about this before, I, I usually like to get probably about a one... Oh, I'm not going back in that. I didn't want to go back in that. I usually like to get about a 100 to 1 ratio. Um, likes to dislikes. That's, that's usually really good, I would say, like, you know, obviously, it's, there's not gonna be that ratio in every video, and I'm not gonna sit there and cry about it when it happens, but usually when you get that many dislikes, I th I'm pretty sure that got as many, if not more, dislikes than the War Z stuff I uploaded, and I knew, I knew for a fact going into War Z that people were gonna be really upset that I was playing it with Spoon. Spoon's video didn't even get that much hate, like, my video got, got the bulk of the hate, for whatever reason, but... Like I said, there are going to be some people who wanted to watch it, regardless. I mean, sure, War Z is kind of a poopy game and has a lot of controversies surrounding it, but there were still going to be people who wanted to watch it, so might as well upload it. But, uh, there are people that like to watch, just in general, playthroughs that have no commentary. Like, I like to watch it sometimes, but for the most part, I like to watch people who do, who do commentary, because it's a little bit more entertaining, I would have to say. Of course, that is in the eye of the beholder. Um, some of you might like to watch uh, playthroughs or, or video game footage with no commentary over it at all, and as I always say, whatever floats your boat, as long as you aren't really hurting anyone else, then I just killed myself. Where am I supposed to go? Hold on. Why is this, like... Okay. Okay, I haven't saved in a while. Hold on, let's let's revert here. Um, as, like, as long as you're not hurting anyone or being destructive about it, then... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much under the impression, whatever floats your boat, then, you know, go ahead and do it. If it makes you happy, then, by all means, do whatever you gotta do. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, by the way, so this could be a problem. I wonder if this is like, no? Hmm. Anything up here? Hidden hidden blocks? I, I might have to refer to the, I believe there's a TXT document that came with this that talked about Oh, motherfuck. That talked about the ghost houses. Why is there like a random shy guy ghost over here? I don't to me, that would say, like, okay, you have to jump over here. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna do this real quick. I, I seriously hate ghost houses like this. Nintendo happens to do this in their own games as well. Um, there have been some pretty confusing ghost houses over, over the years. I just, I don't... 
There's like no, there's no real tubes to go in. Unless I need a cape for this, which could be possible, as I just lost that again. Um, it, it could be possible that I need a cape. I've, I've gone through ghost houses before where you needed a cape. Oh, there's a P-switch there. Okay. That's why I just wanted to check around real quick to, to make sure. I just need to find out where exactly... Okay. That makes sense. Just about finding... Oh, my lord. I might die because I don't have enough time! No, I have enough time. Woo! Yeah, I guess that little, you know, rant discussion's over. It's just always weird to me, like... I guess when opinions differ from your own, you kind of... Well, at least I kind of want to figure out, like, why someone would want to do that. And something that seems kind of pointless. You know, clicking a video that, that you know you're not going to like and... And then just disliking it. And then, of course, there's going to be people like, Well, maybe they just didn't like the video. Did you ever think of that? Like, they, they wanted to watch the video and... And they just didn't like it. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that, that kind of is an option, but... I mean, it's so hit or miss. Like, most of my videos do pretty well, I would say. But sometimes I upload, you know, out of the spectrum of things that I would upload. And then they do really bad. And... I don't know. Maybe maybe if I just had... Oh, great. Is there, like, another hidden P-switch in here? No, well, not there. I mean, maybe if I had already built... A following off of uh, no commentary would probably obviously do a lot better, and I did not think I was going to float there. But it's just always weird to me. I'm not really upset about it. Did I just go in the same door again? I probably did. I guess I can just keep getting coins over and over again. And I guess we're back to the drawing board with trying to find out what door is the right one. So this is just going to... Okay, this is just going to bounce me back a little bit. I wonder if that... I don't know. There was like a weird noise. Okay. So that's that door again. No invisible wall. This is when I have to pull out, like... Okay, I'm not losing that, by the way. This is when I have to pull out, like, all of the dirty tricks to try... Yep, there's another P-switch. I have to look for, like, hidden walls and hidden P-switches and hidden blocks that might have, uh... Like... Okay, I don't even care. I'm just getting kind of annoyed. Oh, hey, there's a little platform down there. Good. Moving along. Oh, good! Yes! I, lo I love the... Oh, my God. Where's my phone? Hold on. I'm gonna use this as much as I can. Oh fuck! What are you doing? This is this is really what I feel about if my phone would work. Hold on. This is this is really what I feel like right now about this ghost house. If you don't know where the song is from, ladies and gentlemen, it is from Deadly Premonition. The director's cut was just released recently, and uh, if you want to pick it up, feel free to. I'm not getting paid by Deadly Premonition. Because I can say that their game is probably really bad. Um, I think it's really bad. I should probably stop this and actually make some progress now. Okay! Oh my god, there's more doors! Unbelievable. You can only go in one of them, I guess. I tried going in all of them, and that was the only one that worked. I actually kind of want to do... Um, a, at least one video on Deadly Premonition. And just talk about it. Because that game is... It's, it's really quite the oddball game it really is like they do they do some things right but they also do some things terribly wrong like the story is good i wouldn't say the story is bad like the characters are kind of wacky and weird in a way not in a bad way um the game uh, the game is just kind of off i would say the 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 place where the game really goes wrong would definitely be the gameplay aspect. And unfortunately, if you have a game that is really not fun to play because the gameplay is broken or or feels outdated, there's not even a thing there. Oh, God, we have to go back in? Is this a door? Oh, hold on. Okay. There's like... Okay, yeah, you would, you would think in this giant... Okay, now it works. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, you can see his eyes going up. You can see them going up. But it won't let me in the fucking door. There's like... Specific little air. There you go. Uh, this is like a okay. It's a really weird eight-bit remix of the fucking Sonic Two boss music. I love Sonic Two boss music though, by the way. Like, probably probably behind Boss Bossa Nova, my favorite boss music of any. God damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta we gotta bring it back here. I I really love the Sonic Two boss music. It's really good. Really good. This just makes me want to look up all the boss music that I love. 
Or it just makes me want to, like... Oh, god damn it. I feel really confused in here. Like, everything's fucking blue. Die. Thank you. I want to land on the spot. Aww. Oh. Yeah, there you go. You just hit that yourself. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Oh! Oh! I did a... I did a wussy jump there. I'm sorry. I have to apologize for that. But yeah, I, I would actually recommend picking up Deadly Premonition and playing it. Just, just to see what I'm talking about. Or at least look up videos on YouTube. They did just come out with a director's cut within the past couple of weeks. And, um... The game, the game's kind of fun, I guess. Like I said, it's 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 a unique kind of game, kind of. It's a really odd game. It's hard to explain it. Like it's kind of unique, but they also ripped off a lot of games. It seems. And usually, I'm not I'm not one to say a game ripped someone off, but the game seriously reminds me a lot about Silent Hill, because in Silent Hill, um, at least the earlier ones, I don't know about some of the later ones, but you would have like you know just kind of the normal area. And then you would have uh, these alternate versions of whatever area you might be in. And it was just kind of like decrepit and scary and and there were a lot of enemies and stuff. Um, that's kind of how Silent Hill was. I'm sure a lot of you- oh fuck. Oh, that was pro. I'm sure- I'm sure more than a couple of you have played through some of the older Silent Hills. It would be really nice if I could- If I could not have like slowdown, like really bad slowdown, because the emulator's lagging, that would, that would be awesome. If I could make this jump, this jump right here, why does it feel like I'm so fat? I couldn't make that jump because I was fat. Been eating a little bit too much. Oh, oh, you can't fly, I forgot. Man, this guy is just cock-blocking me all over the place. What music is this? Is this Final Fantasy VII music? What the fuck music is this? I have no idea. Someone tell me in the comments. Oh man, it's fun playing Mario. I get to talk about whatever random shit I want and be off topic and not make any sense and people just don't really seem to care for the most part. I could talk about whatever and people be like, Yeah, more Mario! Come on! It's been two minutes since you last uploaded a Mario video. We want more. Go record some right now. We'll, we'll just come over to your house and watch you play it. Whatever. Fuck it, more Mario. I, I really feel that's kind of the... Uh, the general attitude. And it's good because it's like, I'm dead. It's a positive attitude. I don't understand. Am I supposed to wait a minute, hold on. So if I get the midway point here and die, what what's gonna happen? I have played a Mario hack before where you had to get the, the halfway point and die to continue. So let's see where this puts me. I have no idea where this put me. This is this the beginning of, oh my god. <laughs> okay, you guys didn't see that. Hold on. This isn't the beginning of the level, is it? I don't think so. I wasn't really paying that much attention at the, at the beginning of the level. I don't know, I guess we'll see. This looks kind of new. Yeah, this de I don't remember this at all. Yeah, the star music is kind of poopy. I like the original star music a lot better than this. What the fuck is this star music? It's poopy! So did I really have to get the, the midway point and die to continue on? I guess so. Maybe I did or maybe I didn't. Maybe there was a way to, to beat that level without that. But I beat the level by getting the midpoint and then dying and then continuing wherever the fuck the level put me. That's really weird. Like I said, that's not the first time I I would have had to have done that. And it's probably definitely not going to be the last. World 6-4! We're in uh, still Iceland, right? Yeah, we're still in Iceland. So icy. I'm actually glad it's not winter anymore, for me at least. I'm sure some of you in the, uh, that other hemisphere are probably about to go through winter. It's probably autumn there. I don't know how the seasons work in other countries. I really don't. I just kind of know, you know, the United States, in, in some areas, you know, they have, like, all four seasons. But, again, in some areas, it's just, like, maybe one or two seasons. But I don't, I don't know, like, about Australia. Like, do you guys have a winter, a spring, or is it just, like, super fucking hot all the time? Depending on where you're at. I don't know. At least... I'm gonna miss that. Uh, no, I got it. At least for, uh... For me, there's at least two different seasons. Colorado's kind of different than Chicago. Chicago had all four seasons. Hands down. You had spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, and you could see those seasons kind of come and go, but... Colorado, not really. Like, Denver? It was kind of like, okay, you have summer, 
And then you have winter. I guess that's just kind of maybe my opinion because I've been kind of jaded because Chicago has like super obvious seasons and to me it just feels like Denver has two, summer and winter. Like it's not always super hot, but like the spring it's not very rainy. Um a lot it's May it's like mid May now and what the fuck? Where the hell am I at? It's like mid May now and a lot of the trees still look dead because oddly enough it snowed in the beginning of May, like a good four inches or so. I'm sure that didn't help the trees bloom. But, like, it, it just gets really cold and snowy in the winter. And then it, it gets hot in the summer. And, like, there's not... It never really rains that much. So I couldn't really say, you know, that's spring or fall. Because in Chicago, it rains a shit ton in the spring and fall. And then the winter, it kind of snows. And then the summer, it, it rains a little bit on and off. A lot of thunderstorms in the summer. I actually like Chicago weather... Oh my god, am I in another loop? Come on, game. I already did this before and looked like a dumbass. Everyone had a great laugh about the oh ha ha, you went in the same tube three times. That was so funny. I'm doing the same goddamn thing again. I actually like the Chicago weather a lot better than this. I'm not going in that again. I'm really not. Is that death? No. I, I don't like Denver weather so much. It's like really dry and moving here was kind of an an adaptation process because it's it's really high altitude and it's really dry so I had I had nosebleeds a little bit I usually don't get nosebleeds like maybe one time a year I will get a nosebleed randomly but I had probably four nosebleeds you know I, I probably had a nosebleed a month at least just because the weather was so different it was it was definitely definitely took some time getting used to it but I, I want to definitely, like, move to to Washington State at some point. I've already talked about that, how it's kind of my uh, my end goal to live in, in downtown Seattle, maybe at some point. Or at least the equivalent of that somewhere in the world, like uh, London. London, England. Downtown London. I don't know what downtown London's like, but I can't fucking... Oh, there's a music note block. Or as I like to call them, J-blocks. I don't even want to get into that discussion again. But I've heard it rains a lot in England. I mean, that would be cool. I just want to be somewhere where it rains a lot. You can walk through the fire. Oh, can I? Can't. Why would you even put that there if I could just walk through it? This guy's a trickster. Yeah, I, I know. I've definitely talked about that before. And it would be really cool to live in. I don't know, like, what the process is to to getting citizenship in another country and living there. I know in the U.S. I know what it's like to, in the U.S just because I've had to learn about it, but I've never had to get citizenship in the U.S. because I was I was born here, so I was just kind of a natural-born citizen. My uh, my mom was also born here, and my dad too, so it's not like any of my parents are are from a foreign country. I, I believe it was my grandparents or my great-grandparents that came over. So yeah, I, I, I'm sure it's different in each country, but... And I'm... What the... Are you si Okay. That was probably a free life. Let's go back and check that out. I'm curious. Are you curious? I'm curious. It was a mushroom that I don't even need. Yeah, that's why I'm not curious in any of the games I play, because it's always a fucking bunch of trash that I get. It's pretty poopy. Whatevs. I don't know. I'm sure some people can educate me on what it's like to, uh... To, to possibly... I can jump off these walls, I forgot. Yeah, there you go. To, uh, to, to gain citizenship and, like, live in a different country. I think it'd be cool. I really want to expand, like, my my boundaries and my my vision of life. I want to live in, like, a downtown area. Maybe a different country. I'm open. I'm open to these possibilities. I think it'd be cool. If not, then Seattle it is. So we're going to stop at Castle 6 because I recorded a shit ton of gears today. And I recorded some Mario. If you haven't noticed, I've been taking kind of a break recently from from recording a lot of stuff. Um, I've just been playing like Smite and Neverwinter and just other games in general um, for funsies on my own, not really recording, just having a good time with it. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to record like maybe an hour a day worth of footage just to kind of keep an upload chain going. Definitely not as much as I used to record, but we'll see how that goes. Some new games that came out, or that are coming out, that I haven't done. I wanted to do Blood Dragon, uh, the Far Cry 3 DLC, and 
I want to do a little bit of, of stuff with Deadly Premonition, a couple videos here and there, but we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching. I don't know how long this Mario video was. I don't know if it was short or long. The last couple of ones have been a lot longer than usual, um, and I tend to lose myself in, in time playing these, so hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next time to take on Castle 6 and move onward forever as Mario.